you have, uh, so you, that's one example of the verses that have been taken out of context. And then I, I've seen that, you know, the, the Islamophobes, and that's quite an industry nowadays, they also have the habit of, it seems to me, uh, of, of seizing on any, um, for, I'm thinking of the, the notion of abrogation, that, that they can say, because they read it somewhere, that all those peaceful, beautiful verses in the Quran and so on uh, that, that uh, defenders are, you know, or, or uh, of Islam or just rational, neutral observers cite, although they don't really matter because the verse that says, uh, kill the enemy comes later. And, and, and what's the response to that? Well, this theory of abrogation was come up with in medieval times by uh, Muslim jurists, uh, but it wasn't intended to be applied to values. Uh, and in fact, many of the great commentators say it's illegitimate to apply it to values. Uh, so, you know, early on, the, 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 the people around Muhammad drank alcohol, uh, and later on, the Quran urges that they not do that. Uh, so the first time mention, mention of alcohol is there, it says, don't come to prayers drunk. Uh, well, that means it's all right to drink, except don't, don't drink on, uh, before you come to, uh, to Friday prayers. Uh, and later on, the Quran says, well, you know, there's good and bad in, in gambling and alcohol, but the, the, the bad in them is worse than the good, which I, I think is a pretty self-evident principle. Uh, so the Muslim jurist said, well, then later on, alcohol is forbidden altogether. Uh, and so that's a, a kind of incident where they developed this idea of abrogation. But the great uh, Muslim thinker Tabari pointed out that this has only to do with laws, not, not with, with values. And so you can't say that the Quran recommends uh, a, a preference for peace and an option for peace as, as the first response to uh, harassment. You can't say that that was later abrogated. And it's very clear that the Quran only permits uh, the taking up of arms uh, in self-defense, which, again, is just uh, ordinary uh, ethics of the era, and I think of our era uh, uh, as well. So um, th this theory of abrogation uh, was not accepted universally in, in, in Muslim law. Uh, the, the great uh, thinker, Shawali Allah of Delhi, a reformer of the 18th century, said there were only five incidences of it. And so, yes, you could find some medieval warmonger who wanted to turn the Quran into uh, uh, such an instrument, but um, uh, it's, not, it's not a universal way of thinking. And again, we're talking with Professor Juan Cole about his a new book on Muhammad, Prophet of Peace, Amid the Clash of Empire.